Results, well, KCB Group has reported net earnings of 19.6 billion shillings for the half year of 2022, marking a 28.4% rise from the half year of 2021 performance. The growth was driven by uh, growth funded both by non-income streams. Well, the group is also set to break into the DRC market through acquisition of 85% of the Trust Merchant Bank. From a capital position, uh, happy to 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 um, report that you know we we still have fairly uh, good buffers uh, both at uh, core capital uh, and and at uh, total capital. When I split that by individual, uh, this is aggregated by individual entities. Um, the NBK is is the only subsidiary where at total capital. Uh, we still have uh, a, a, a slight non-compliance in terms of hitting the capital adequacy ratio. Uh, so behind total capital ratio by about 110 basis points. We are working uh, to, 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 to uh, uh, address that, that compliance issue and we are, we, we are confident that by the end of the year, uh, NBK sh should be uh, compliant across. We want to reduce the customer efforts to serve or you know, the pain that a customer will go to get, to get the service from us. Um, we, we are ambitious to commercialize the various uh, technologies that we've deployed, and we therefore want to raise our NFI um, contribution or share of, of, of contribution to 33%. And we are trying to be bold. This is, you know, looking to regional businesses, scale that up. We've moved from a 5% contribution we are ambitious to cross the 20% line. In terms of, um, you know, we enhance limits for, for customers who qualify for, for, for facilities online, um, you know, in terms of internet banking. You probably see Fuliza is up 31% year on year, but the average ticket is 320 shillings. What is impressive to, to point out is Vumalon is up 34% year on year, with an average ticket of 21,327 shillings. That is a successful story. All right, that's the new.